Sagittarius. My lovely Sag Seeker, welcome to your 2019 yearly. How are you? Hello, Palo Santo. No, really, how are you? I hope you guys are doing well. I hope this year will be better for you. I hope this year will be focused for you and grounded for you. January, February, February, March, all the way through December 2019. This will be the 13th element pack, the one that represents the entirety of 2019 for you. A message from the Akashic Records Oracle and a message from the I Ching is an oracle. And Palo Santo will just be around to give us some good vibes. <laughs> okay, really happy to have you here. Thank you guys for your subscriptions, for being a part of the existential shift. Love you all much, and let's get to it. Okay, so I'm going to start with... Oh, you know, I took out 12 runes, but I didn't took um, the 13th rune, the one to represent the entire year for Sagittarius. So let's do that now together. A rune for Sagittarius Seekers for 2019. To clarify this pack. A room for Sagittarius. Okay, I, I took a glimpse of it. We're opening it. We're opening it anyway. So, oh, it was actually like this. Okay. All right. Kenna's. I'm really. I, I was happy that I saw it in my hand when I took it out. It's a great room, especially a great room to represent the entirety of 2019. Letter K or C in case it's relevant. It is the open hand. It is the opportunities. Here, I'm going to put it, place it down so you can see it in your, from your point of view. Um, opportunities. Yeses. Open heart, open mind. Creativity. Let's see how it connects. Five of Cups. Very interesting. Um dissonance between the card and the room. Nine of Cups and the world. Okay, let, I, want, I want you to take a look. These are the Celtic Tarot. They, they're quite magnificent. This is the world card and right here we have Nine of Cups. And in the middle we have the Five of Cups. Okay, so first of all, even though I see you guys a little bit dwelling throughout 2019, because that's the essence of the Five of Cups, right? Dwelling on what is lost, what we no longer have, and ignoring what we do have. It's, it's a self-made despair, actually. Now, the thing is that all three other divination around it, Kenaz, the World, Nine of Cups, are amazing, fantastic cards. There are cards of completion, the 9 and the 21. There are cards of completion, of fulfillment, of positivity, positivity, aspirations coming true. I feel like many of you are going to be very successful throughout 2019, or you're going to have a lot of opportunities to succeed some of you overseas. Um, the world will open up for you. But there is something that you're always kind of in the back of your mind, like a little dark cloud that there's a little bit um kind of sits on you of, of inner sadness or a sense of inner loss. Now, listen, it, it's the the reason varies between different Sagittarius of you that are watching. But the thing about Five of Cups, it's the glass half empty, the glass half full. It's the thing that we all have. And it's just, in the Five of Cups, it's that inner choice of the heart to focus on the glass half empty, when it's always also half full. See, all he has to do is turn around and look at this two cups that he has, nine cups actually, and four elements of the world. The main message here for 2019 is be positive. Focus on the things that you do have. Focus on your success. Focus on your creativity. Focus on your opportunities. So you could increase them. B 
because it's like someone who has a lot but isn't happy still, you know? And in the case of Five of Cups, it can be worked on. It, all you have to do is pick, is lift his head up and change his point of view. Because there is much to be happy for. Nine of Cups and the world and Kinaz, that's success. That's global success for those of you that it's relevant for. There's also an element for those of you who are in a partnership throughout 2019. Um, if everything is great and amazing on the surface, but you're still feeling some sort of emptiness or loss or simply unhappy and you can't really explain why it is because there is no apparent reason. These cards are fantastic. There is no apparent reason for you to be in this. Um, for the very few of you that it's relevant for, I will suggest to seek counsel because it's one thing to have sadness over circumstances. Circumstances are difficult, so I'm feeling it, right? But it's another thing to have constant state of um, deep sadness when everything is great. That might show depression or something clinical or, you know, a state of mind that is deeper. So consider either talking to someone close to you or counseling. And if this is not your case, if this is temporary, if this is, if this is something that you know what I'm talking about and you're just, perhaps life is changing for the better throughout 2019, but you're still a little bit carrying the past with you, then try to work through it, Sag. You're a happy, vibrant element. We want to see you happy, okay? All right, so this is the significance for 2019. I'm going to put this aside so we can move ahead to open up our cards by the month. Okay. Let's put this here. Are we ready for January? Yeah? Okay, good. Let's do it. 